After studying chemical engineering so hard in college, I was absolutely miserable when I started working full time. I tried to look for other chemi jobs, but wasn't even excited to get a different job. I was burnt out, so I made a big decision to do a coding bootcamp and decided to change my career after two and a half years of working full time. Hey guys, this is Yeonju. If you haven't been to my channel, I usually vlog about my life. I'm currently working from home and I have a chemical engineering background, so I did a lot of videos about that. Also, before I start, I'm about to reach 10k subscribers. It's been a hot journey, you guys. Like, I started in 2018 without really knowing anything about YouTube and like not having any like a goal to reach. I think that's why it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel. So, I'm really thankful for the 9,000 of you guys who subscribe to my channel, always commenting on my videos and um, supporting me. Today, I decided to talk about why I left manufacturing or just chemical engineering in general because I feel like I do owe y'all a little bit of explanation since I've been vlogging about that lifestyle and so i graduated right before covid so 2019 and i followed the traditional route of being a chemical engineer uh, which is like being a process engineer at a manufacturing setting when i was studying chemi i saw no problems with that i interned in a manufacturing facility i thought that's what i wanted to do so it's been a year since I left manufacturing. One of the first reasons why I decided to leave was because of the flexibility in the location. I've mentioned this several times when I talked about anything related to Kemi. A lot of the manufacturing settings are not gonna be in the middle of bigger cities. I've actually struggled a lot since I moved to America. I went to Texas A&M, which is in College Station where it's basically not a very big city. It's just like a college town. What I struggled the most in there was like not having access to so many things that are usually in cities. And as an Asian American, I think it was very important for me to have a population that had diversity. And in order to achieve that, I had to go to a bigger city. So I was really thankful that I my first full-time position was in Orange County. As you move on in your career, it's not always gonna be in a big city. You might have to sacrifice on that and I wasn't willing to do that. So then that really limits my opportunity. A lot of the times, bigger facilities are gonna be in the middle of nowhere. So I wanted to stay in city area. So that's when I decided, oh, this has like less flexibility than I thought. You obviously don't have to work in manufacturing just because you graduated with a chemi degree. I want to say this is like the most traditional route for a chemi to become a process engineer and to start at a plant. Because of that, you're going to have to put a little bit of more effort if you want to go to a different route. I mean, none of my friends that graduated with me are working at a plant anymore. So like that just like says that you don't have to like stick with one route. Out. Second of all, I genuinely wasn't interested in the industry. The major itself was like to a certain degree, it was interesting. Me just seeing these like machineries and figure out like certain machines to work more efficiently, doing projects on them, that was just genuinely not my interest. And I learned that like after I started working in the industry it is unfortunate but i didn't have anybody that was in the industry before me that i knew of so i didn't know that this wasn't going to be generally like my interest people who don't want to work like in the operations like this they become like a tech sales person and things like that but i just didn't see that as like an option before i completely changed the route to software engineering i definitely sought other opportunities and when I, while I was interviewing, I just realized really like even the newer jobs like don't really interest me. And I just didn't want to be left like in the industry for like 10 years and then regretting like spending my 20s and 30s working in a setting that I didn't want to work for. It was a really hard decision. I'm not going to lie. Spending more time and more money to just to switch the career that I literally just started. Like that's never a easy decision for someone. A lot of the jobs are like something that 
makes you the most skilled in, right? Like if you're a cook, you're very good at cooking. If you're a software engineer, you can code. The benefits that come from that is you can also do your own thing with that skill. As a software engineer, if I want to make a website for myself, I can do that. For the job that I was in, I felt like this was only happening at the job. Like I'm not going to be able to make a plant for myself. Yes, you can design a plant at home. Like I'm not going to like try to make plant at my own house. Like obviously once you gain certain like manufacturing knowledge or like construction knowledge, yeah, it can be useful when you have a house and you want to try to like build something for yourself. So hopefully this helped. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.